Good morning, dear students. Welcome to English Zoom lesson. Today we are going to revise connectives. Do you remember what connectives are? Objectives. To identify connectives in sentences. To use connectives in sentence. We are going to answer these questions. What is a connective? How do I use connectives? Why do we need connective? Let's revise connectives. What is the connective? A big question. Can you answer this? Good. A connective is a word which joins two sentences or words. And, but, when, because, if. These words are called connectives. These words joins two sentences or words. So is also a connective. Why do we need connectives? To join sentences, to make longer sentences, to make difficult sentences more understandable. Let us learn about the connective AND. We use the connective AND to show relation. Example, Sam likes chocolate. This is one sentence. The second sentence, Sam likes ice cream. We can put both the sentences together in one sentence using the connective AND. We can write it like Sam likes chocolate and ice cream. It makes your sentence more interesting and avoids repetition. Instead of saying Sam likes chocolate, Sam likes ice cream, it becomes very boring. So we make it more interesting by using the connective and. Sam likes chocolate and ice cream. Join sentences using connective and. It is a hot day. It is a sunny day. Can you join the two sentences using the connective and children? Write it in your whiteboard. Did you finish writing? Good. Did you write it like it is a hot and sunny day? Good. Remember, a sentence has only one capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end. So here, children, we wrote, it is a hot day, the first sentence as it is. We did not put the full stop. Then we did not write from the second sentence, it is a, we just wrote sunny day. So the two sentences are put together in one sentence using the connective and. Good job, children. Mia is playing on the beach. John is playing on the beach. Can you put these two sentences together? You can write it in your whiteboards. Did you finish writing? Did you write it like this? Mia and John are playing on the beach. Here the common thing was on the beach. And there are two persons playing on the beach, Mia and John. So we can write it like this, Mia and John, because there are no more one person, so we change is to are. Remember, we said for more than one, for plural nouns, we use are. Mia and John are playing on the beach. You get a trail of stars. Now we will learn about the connective but. We use the connective but to show opposite meanings. Example, Mary is tall, Anna is short. Here you can see children, tall and short have opposite meanings, right? So we can write these two sentences in one sentence. Mary is tall, but 
Anna is shot. We write the first sentence as it is. Mary is tall. We do not put the full stop and we write it as Anna is shot. Join sentences using connectives, but Alice fell down. She didn't get hurt. Here, children, when you fall down, you're supposed to get hurt, right? But Alice fell down. She didn't get hurt. It is opposite thing that was expected. So we will write the first sentence as it is. Alice fell down, but we do not put the full stop. We write the second sentence and in place of full stop, we write but and we write she didn't get hurt. Alice fell down, but she didn't get hurt. And the she of the second sentence is written with small s. If you notice in this sentence, it is very important to know that a sentence has only one capital letter and only one full stop. Only the proper nouns, if they come in between the sentence, they are written in capital letter. And I is always capital. The king is rich. The beggar is poor. Can you join these two sentences, children? When you are using the connective part, you write both the sentences as it is, but in place of the first full stop, you put but. The king is rich, but the beggar is poor. Did you finish writing this? Did you put the capital letter at the beginning? Did you put a full stop at the end? And after but, the first word need not be in capital letter. Again, you get a trail of stars. Now let us do the connective because. We use the connective because to give reason. Example, Maria cannot drink the tea. It is too hot. So here children, we are giving reason. We are answering the question why. Maria cannot drink the tea. And we think, why cannot she drink the tea? because the tea is too hot. So this is what we do over here. Maria cannot drink the tea. And instead of full stop, we write because it is too hot. Here also we write the second sentence as it is, but we do not start the second sentence with capital letter. And after the first sentence, we do not put the full stop. Join sentences using connectives because we like to play, it is fun. Can you join these sentences? Did you finish writing? Good. We like to play because it is fun. Did you take care of the capital letters, children? And did you put full stop at the end? Excellent. Now join these two sentences, children. My kite went up. There was wind. My kite went up because there was wind. Remember, when we give reasons, we use the connective because. My kite went up. Why did my kite go up? And the reason is because there was wind. You have done a good job. Now let us write sentences with connective when. We use the connective when to show time. Example, my mother was happy. I got first rank in the class. Now here, children, we are talking about the time. When I got 
first rank in the class. My mother was happy when I got first rank in the class. Here also children, you can see the first sentence is written as it is. My mother was happy with the first letter capital. But in place of the full stop, we use the word when. And then we write the second sentence as it is. Here, the first word of the sentence is I. So I is always written with capital letter, whether it is the first word of the sentence or it comes in the middle of the sentence. And we put a full stop at the end. Remember the rule, a sentence has a capital letter in the beginning and full stop at the end. Join sentences using connective when. The children stopped playing. It started raining. Can you join these two sentences, children? You can write it in your whiteboard. Very good. The children stopped playing when it started raining. Jerry will play. Tom is away. So we join these two sentences like Jerry will play when Tom is away. You've done a good job. Use the correct connectives to join the sentences. And, but, because, when. Tom, Mary. Here, children, we are talking about the relation. So we are going to use the connective and. Excellent, children. What can you do for this one? Tom is a boy. Mary is a girl. Which connective are you going to use? Yes, very good, children. Because boy and girl have opposite meaning, right? So we are going to use the connective but. Excellent. I exercise daily. It is healthy. Which connective are you going to use here? Wonderful. You're going to use because. Why? I exercise daily because it is healthy. Why do you exercise daily? I'm giving reason because it is healthy. When we are using reason, we use the connective because. I will call you, I reach home. Here we are talking about the time. Excellent, I will call you and I'll ask when will you call me? I will call you when I reach home. Nice job, children. Summary. Today we revised what is a connective. We also revised some of the connectives or, and, but, because, and when. Uses of connectives. To identify connectives in sentences and to use connectives in sentences. Thank you so much for attending Zoom lesson. See you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye and have a nice time.